Senator Elizabeth Warren helped popularize the 50-30-20 budget. Put simply, your needs, wants, and savings should fall generally in those percentage ratios. CNBC crunched the numbers, and we can give you an idea of what your budget should look like if you make $7.25 per hour. First, some assumptions. The take-home pay is an estimate for a single person filing taxes in Pennsylvania, where the minimum wage is $7.25. Your withholdings will vary, and we do not factor in any deductions or plans that you may be enrolled in. Also, the ratios are meant as a goal to strive for and may not work for every budget, so plan accordingly. Now, here's a case study. Let's say you make $7.25 per hour. After taxes, you should bring home around $1,013. Broken down by ratios, here's where your money should be going. 50% to necessities, 30% to things you want, and the rest to savings. Let's break that down to just housing. As a rule of thumb, your housing cost should be under 30% of your gross income. In this case, about $15,000. That means that your goal should be to stay under $377 per month. Don't be discouraged if your finances don't add up at first. The more you track your spending and keep an eye on it, the better you'll be at homing in on your monthly expenses. Keeping electronic records of your spending will help you stay organized. And there are apps out there that can help you link your credit and debit cards to your budget so you can keep track or even set limits. Money can be tight even if you're doing everything right. But the best way not to be scared is to be prepared. And a budget is your first step. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.